Hi, and welcome back to our channel Summaries of a Bookworm. Your number one place for all who need or like to listen to book summaries. Let's start with the book summary of today. Peter Pan, a classic work by J. M. Barry, tells the story of the darling children's journey to the magical islands of Neverland with Peter Pan, an adventurous young boy who refuses to grow up. Mr. and Mrs. Darling, their three children, Wendy, John, and Michael, and a dog named Nana are introduced by the omniscient narrator, who addresses the audience in the first person. The family lives in London, where the children attend the same nursery. Wendy tells Mrs. Darling about a boy named Peter Pan who comes to visit her dreams from a place called Neverland. After the children have gone to bed, Peter Pan appears unexpectedly through their bedroom window, startling Mrs. Darling. When Mr. and Mrs. Darling leave for a nearby dinner party, Peter appears with his fairy, Tinker Bell. Wendy awakens and assists Peter in affixing his shadow to his body. Peter tells Wendy that he has no parents and that he refuses to grow up. He lives in Neverland with a group of abandoned children known as the Lost Boys. Wendy, who is fascinated by Neverland, asks him about fairies, which reminds Peter of the time he accidentally trapped Tinker Bell inside a closed drawer. Peter persuades Wendy to accompany him on a trip to Neverland. The newly awakened John and Michael are eager to join. Peter then sprinkles fairy dust on the three darling children, who start flying around the room. Meanwhile, Nana has stormed the darlings' dinner party to warn the parents that something is wrong with the children, but before the parents can get to the nursery, the children have already flown out the window and toward the stars with Peter and Tinkerbell. The darling children discover familiar landmarks from their dreams while flying over Neverland. However, as they prepare to land, the sky darkens, Peter warns them of the pirates on the island, explaining that he is responsible for Captain James Hook's loss of his right hand, having thrown him to the crocodile that ate it. The pirates then fire a cannon into the sky. Wendy and Tinker Bell arrive in a different location, and Peter is nowhere to be found. The narrator introduces the Redskins, the Lost Boys, and the rest of the pirates. The Lost Boys, along with Peter, live in an underground home. When Wendy and Tinker Bell arrive, the boys mistake Wendy for a bird, and one of them, Tootles, shoots her with an arrow just as Peter arrives. Wendy, thankfully, survives and is soon reunited with her brothers, but she remains unconscious. As a result, Peter insists on building Wendy a house. When Wendy's new door is finished, the boys knock, and she invites them in to read Cinderella. Wendy is persuaded to be their mother by Peter and the boys. Wendy, John, and Michael grow accustomed to living with the lost boys over time, which is difficult to calculate in Neverland. Wendy is concerned when John and Michael appear to forget their parents while she is caring for the boys. Wendy, on the other hand, is confident that her mother has left the window open for her and her brothers to use when they return. The group decides to go on an adventure to the Mermaid's Lagoon. While they are there, two of Hook's comrades, Smee and Starkey, arrive with Tiger Lily, the Redskins' leader, as their prisoner. Peter decides to save Tiger Lily by impersonating Hook and ordering the other pirates to release her. However, the real Hook soon appears, Peter and Hook engage in a duel, which ends with Hook injuring Peter's hand. During the chaos, Peter and Wendy are separated from the rest of the group and left stranded on a rock. Peter assists Wendy in flying away on a kite, sensing the impending danger. After ensuring her safety, he encounters a never bird, who empties her nest to transport Peter through the air. He arrives at the underground home to find Wendy safe with the missing boys. Wendy and Peter continue to provide a loving home for the orphaned boys. The narrator, on the other hand, warns the audience that this is the children's final night on the island. Wendy tells the boys about her parents and the darlings' life in London during story time. In this story, the children eventually return home. Wendy, John, and Michael then realize they must return home. Peter makes preparations while pretending to be unconcerned about their departure. The pirates are waiting above the home underground, unbeknownst to the group. The pirates attack and kidnap the children as they emerge from their trees. Hook spies on Peter while he sleeps and poisons Peter's medicine after realizing he is not among them. Peter awakens as Tinker Bell arrives after Hook has left. She warns him that the medicine is poisoned and then drinks it herself in order to save him. Peter cries out to all the sleeping children as she dies, confirming their belief in fairies. When this suggestion is successful, Tinker Bell and Peter set out to rescue Wendy and the lost boys. On the pirate ship, the children are now chained. As Hook tells Wendy that she will watch all of her children walk the plank, a ticking sound reverberates along the deck, coming from the crocodile that also ate a clock in addition to Hook's hand. Hook orders the other pirates to hide him, while the children rush to the ship's edge to confirm that it is Peter, not the crocodile, who is making the ticking noise. 
Peter boards the ship and enters the cabin, reuniting with the lost boys. Hook and the other pirates are reassured by Smee that the ticking sound has stopped. Hook, relieved, asks the children if they want to see his cat before walking the plank and orders the other pirates to fetch his cat from the cabin, unaware that Peter is hiding inside. Peter goes to save Wendy, who is tied to the ship's mast, after killing each pirate who enters the cabin. He frees the other boys and replaces Wendy. When the pirates discover that Peter has been aboard the ship the entire time, they are furious with Hook. The boys then launch an assault and easily defeat them. The boys then encircle Hook and Peter as they fight with swords. Hook, defeated, flees the fight and jumps overboard into the sea. Hook, unluckily, sees the crocodile next to him in the water, is attacked, and dies. Peter, the lost boys, and Wendy sail the pirate ship across the sea to the Darling home after defeating the pirates. Meanwhile, Mrs. Darling sits in the nursery, facing the open window through which her children have fled. Soon after, the darlings reunite, while Peter looks out the window. Wendy introduces her mother to Peter after the darlings agree to adopt the lost boys. He wants Wendy to accompany him back to Neverland, so Mrs. Darling suggests Peter pay Wendy a visit and take her on a yearly trip to Neverland to do Peter's spring cleaning. However, many years pass without Peter paying Wendy a visit. Wendy, who is still living in her childhood home, has a daughter named Jane, who is familiar with her mother's stories about Peter Pan and Neverland. Peter appears at the window one night, unaware of how much time has passed, to take Wendy to Neverland. Jane then awakens and meets Peter, telling him she has been waiting for him. Jane, with Wendy's permission, flies to Neverland to help Peter with his spring cleaning. Thank you for listening to our book summary. I hope we sparked your interest in the book. Please let us know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Do you want to listen to more book summaries? Subscribe to us and you will get a notification every time we publish a new summary. Bye bye and see you next time.